Welcome to the Barrow Channel, welcome yet to another video. Today we're at a factory that makes hub motors, electric hub motors. And these are the motors that go in your electric bike wheels, your electric scooters, your electric go-karts and all the kind of things like that. And we're going to basically take you through the process of manufacturing those from raw materials to finished packed products. And we're also going to show you what they go into at the end of the video. That we were going places, turning the memories fading. It goes around like trouble. It all grew into hating. Clouds are rolling in. Rain rolls down my cheeks. So the first part of the process is when the material is delivered to the factory. They will bring it in, or they'll take bits out of the batch or, or some out of the batch and they'll bring it in this room here for testing because they want to make sure the material is to the correct specification before they start using it in the manufacturing process. This is to make sure that the, the diameter is, is actually the correct diameter. Oh, he's, he's obviously got a specification there that he follows. What we're setting up here in motors there's a lot of copper wire used for the coils for the windings on the motors and this machine here is going to test the resistance of the cable ah this is testing the uh, looks like this is testing the strength of the cable as they're stretching the cable i guess they stretch it to the point that it breaks okay so you see the cables broke so they're testing how strong the cable is. The resistance of the cable uh, determines how well the electricity passes through a cable. The lower resistance, the better electricity will pass through. If you could um, invent a cable that has no resistance at all, you'd be a super rich guy because you, you wouldn't lose any electric in transmission. So that, that's a good one if you want to work on that. So we've now entered the room where they do R&D and develop new motors. They obviously have customers who have specific requirements for power and, and size and things like that. And what they do in here, they, they develop um, new motors. And as you can see around here, there's, there's quite a lot. We, we have to be a bit careful in here because there's a, there's a lot of kind of stuff that they don't really want us to, to be seeing. So we, we just do a quick look in it so you can see that they do have this R&D facility here. So what they're doing here, they're testing the motors in the wheel for thermal properties. And uh, these weights here, these simulate somebody sitting on the bike or two people sitting on the bike. And then they have this blower here, which is blowing cool air across the bike in order to simulate somebody riding outside. And then they'll have various sensors that are measuring the temperature and various other properties, maybe metal expansion. They've actually developed a motor in this R&D which will run underwater. They actually ran that for two months and they also put even grit in the water to simulate you know make sure the bearings were sealed properly and it performed really well over a two month period so that's a really interesting fact so this is where a hub motor starts its life and this is a bear this is a bear rotor and um, this is quite a small one so this may be going to a scooter or something like that but first what happens is they take a bare rotor like this and it needs to have plastic things inserted into here. And that's what this machine does. This machine inserts the plastic pieces into the rotor. Then once the plastic pieces have been inserted into the rotor, it comes to here to have the... So if you look at, if you look at one of these, this has now got all the coils wound into the rotor. So these are all the, these are all the co coils of copper that feed into the rotor winding machine. And as you can see, it all comes across here. And then what we'll do, we'll go around to the other side of the machine. You can see the, the uh, rotors being wound. This machine, takes it from this to this. So once we have the rotor with the coils on, we need to solder the connections. And that's what's going on here. So the, the, the wires get added and they solder the connections onto the rotor. So once all the connections are soldered on, 
It then goes to the process where it's put into the hub. So we've arrived now in the main manufacturing and one thing I think is cool, you can see all these hubs going all over the place. It's like a, it's like a massive network of cages above your head, man. That's pretty cool. So once the centre of the motors come from the production line, this needs to be encased in the hub. And that's what happens here. So first of all, the cables are fed down the centre into the hub. And this woman is stripping the cables, putting a little bit more of the electronics into the hub, fitting, fitting the connections where the electronics will be sealed to. It then comes down to here. This woman's stripping the ends off the cables and soldering the connections on. So what's going on here is they're, they're actually connecting the cables to the motor itself. Once it gets to here, they go on, they get hooked onto here and they go up and over the top here. Now what's happening here, we can't record too close because it's some technology the factory don't want people to see. So what's happening here is the motor is getting put into the middle of the hub and then that hub is getting sealed around the motor. So once that is all done, you get to here where this is a hub and the motor that you saw at the start of this line is inside here. And this is the cable that connects to the power. So in this, this kind of box behind me there, then doing some testing of the hubs. And that testing is one, the reason they're in this box is kind of a soundproof box because they have to listen out to make sure there's no abnormal, abnormal noises coming from the hub. And also they're testing the RPM of the hub. So what the RPM is, is the revolutions per minute. It's how many times the motor turns around per minute, RPM. So once it comes out of this testing uh, area, it has its fixings put onto the hub, and you can see that here. And this will be different depending on which customer has ordered this. And then once it's done that, this guy, this guy winds the cable up. And when he's wound the cable up, he will put it onto one of these and it will go to pack it. So each line is able to do between two and three thousand of these hub motors per day. And that will really depend on specification. But the factory as a whole is able to do up to 30,000 hub motors a day. And that, that kind of blows my mind because I can't imagine where 30,000 hub motors per day go. Because these, these go on things like scooters, electric bikes, electric motorbikes. And you'll see a bit later on in the video all the stuff that these hub motors fix to and go on to. Anyway, once, it's, once they come around here, they go somewhere else into maybe another building and they go to be packed and then shipped off to the customers. So once they've come down from upstairs, when they're finished, they come down. Now, a lot of these systems have been put in by precision technology. So go check that out. But they come along here and then the guy here starts packing them. Um, and they obviously have these specially designed pallets. So they stack them onto pallets. And this is, a, this is quite an efficient way of packing them. One, it protects them very well, but two, they're not wasting a lot of cardboard in this packaging. Because basically these will now go to factories that manufacture scooters, go-karts, e-bikes, you know, whatever needs a hub motor, these will be shipping off to, to those factories. So I've just been made aware that actually these guys who are doing the packing are not just packing the goods that are outgoing, but they're also dealing with goods incoming. So once they've taken these off to pack them, they put a, a new incoming goods which then goes up to the production line on this same conveyor belt system. 
Okay. Once they've been all put onto pallets in there, they're transferred across to here, which is the warehouse where they store them. And then as the, the trucks come in, each customer's goods will be loaded onto trucks and shipped out to the various factories where they, they get used. So now we're going to go up to show you all the end products that these hub motors are installed in, like the scooters, the go-karts, the bikes, etc, etc. So as you can see, these are all the kind of hub motors they do. And these here are the products they go into. So you've got your, your sort of e-scooters here. This oh, is, I so want one of those scooters, man. Yeah, th this is kind of cool. It's like a big off-road one, isn't it? It's yeah, not, I've not seen one of those wow. with the big wheels before. Look at that. That is, these, is, these are so popular in China, these kinds of things. Oh, but big in the time, UK, yeah. not many people have these kinds of electric motor Now transport. I can see it being a big thing in the UK in the future. And then you've got your electric scooters here. This, this one's is my favourite, yeah. Yeah, you like this one, don't you? And then uh, they, these are something that are massively growing now in popularity in China. They're like the rental bikes. Um, so you, you scan the code, you rent the bike. But these are electric ones and obviously they have a hub motor in this back wheel here um, but these are growing in popular unfortunately they don't have them in shenzhen and then one of my favorites is this although i'm a little bit too big for it <laughs> <laughs> these are pretty cool and obviously these have a, a hub motor in one or two of the wheels and these are these are great. You actually see these now in shopping centres where they like have a, a ride for kids and they'll have like a track with four of these on. And um, they'll mm. be going, uh, they'll be racing each other around. But I want them to make a bigger version of this. So anyway, that, that brings us to the end of this video at the Electric Motor Factory. If you are interested in anything that this company makes, our email is in the About Me section of our website. And... Uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up because it really gets set there. We really do hope you like these factory videos. Um, I do, as it's my thing. I'm, I'm into engineering, electrical engineering in particular. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. But as always, for now, take care.